Hello and thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. Glad you made it today. Today I wanted to talk to you about special monthly compensation, SMC. SMC is a is a different animal, and I wanted to dive into it a little bit and just give a couple. Um, you know, there, there's a lot to go over, so uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go through all of them. I will go through a couple different uh, levels of compensation through. Uh, SMC, and I'm also going to go over the uh, fact sheet um, to kind of give the brief overview of what it is. Now, a lot of times I explain that, you know, hey, look, there's there's two different rating schedules. One is your zero to 100% and two is SMC. Um, and the reason why I always talk about, well, not always, but the reason why I talk about both of them a lot is the fact that the zero through 100 is a bit deceiving because when you get to 100%, or you mention 100%, people will assume that that's the maximum there is no more because you've reached 100%. That is not the case. There's a whole other rating schedule, again, called special monthly compensation. Now, there are a couple little caveats to it. There are some add-on um, uh, awards that can be uh, completed through SMC and added to your zero to 100%, and then there's or to your SMC payment, and then there's some that are just SMC and that's it. So there's kind of this little bridge piece that kind of goes back and forth. In any case, please hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff helps to get the information out there to those that need it. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you. In addition, I have a Veterans Info session coming up. Uh, that is February 22nd. And I've been dropping some links here and there with uh, registration. A veterans law attorney, a claims agent um, will be the two kind of main uh, speaker. So a veterans law attorney and a veterans claim agent will be talking about everything from filing a claim, presumptives, appeals, when to hire an attorney, all that good stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into it. The fact sheet here from the VA, I'm just going to kind of read through it here. It's titled special monthly compensation, um, rightfully so. And let's see here. It's kind of a Q&A thing. So can a veteran receive additional payments for serious disabilities? VA can pay more compensation to a veteran who lost or lost use of specific organs or body parts due to military service. What is considered loss or loss of use? Loss or loss of use means amputation or no effective remaining function of an extremity or organ. VA considers the following disabilities for special monthly compensation. Loss or loss of use of a hand or foot, immobility of a joint, paralysis, loss of sight of an eye, loss or loss of use of a rep re loss or loss of use of a reproductive organ, complete loss or loss of use of both buttocks, deafness of both ears, inability to communicate by speech, loss of a percentage of tissue from a single breast or both breasts from a mastectomy or radiation treatment. That one's, that's kind of a good one to know, right? Let's see here. What if I have a combination of these disabilities? The VA will pay higher rates in specific monetary increments if you have more than one of these disabilities. For example, if you have loss or loss of use of your feet, legs, hands, and arms, you will receive more compensation based on your specific combination of disabilities. So it's kind of a sliding scale. There are also higher payments for, variation, for various combinations of severe deafness with blindness in both eyes. You can receive more SMC if you are service connected uh, and have complete loss of bowel and bladder control. If you have other service-connected disabilities that when combined with any of the above meet certain criteria, you may also receive a higher amount of SMC. Can VA pay SMC for being bedridden, housebound, or in need of the aid and attendance of another person? If the veteran is service-connected at the 100% rate and meets one of the following criteria, additional SMC payment can be considered. Housebound, bedridden, requires the aid and attendance of another person, 
The amount of SMC varies depending on the level of disability. Then there's the little how can you apply section. It basically says contact your local VA regional uh, benefits office for additional information about applying for SMC. And it gives a, um, a link to locate the nearest office. Uh, you could also uh, go through your uh, local veteran service office or you know VFW, American Legion, accredited reps, those types of things. Um, county or state provided as well. Uh, so with that, that is the fact sheet. Let's go ahead and roll over to the actual website for the VA special monthly compensation here. Uh, VA special monthly compensation is a higher rate of compensation that we pay veterans as well as their spouses, surviving spouses, and parents with certain needs or disabilities. Find the 2023 compensation rates that may apply to you. Special monthly compensation rate payment variations. Uh, talks about uh, level K uh, and um, Q. Q is no longer, um, they haven't awarded it since 1968. Um, let's see. So special monthly compensation K. Let's see. The purpose behind special monthly compensation K is to compensate veterans who have service connection for certain disabilities involving the loss or loss of use of certain body parts when there uh, is an impairment of certain senses. So it's a sensory thing. Um, category K gives special monthly compensation based solely on the loss of or loss of use of a body part or function. So this is a lower level um, entitlement through special monthly compensation. Uh, let's see, what is special monthly compensation do I qualify? When a veteran is receiving compensation at the 100% disability rate, they're getting the, the most the VA disability compensation available for them? No, it's not. So we know that because of special monthly compensation K or, or special monthly compensation in general. Uh, so with, uh, I'm reading a little article here on K and on the uh, special monthly compensation K, um, establishing entitlement, um, special monthly compensation K available when there is loss or loss of use of, of the following. One or more loss of use of a certain organ, uh, one foot, one hand, both buttocks, one eye, hearing, speech, or one, uh, one or both breasts of a female. Um, and then it dives into some more. So this again is on the lower level and special monthly compensation K is $128.62, which is a add-on uh, to your zero to 100%. So that's important to know. So if you're rated 100% and you meet one of those at the lower levels, they will uh, give you that additional $128. You can receive up to 3K awards. Um, so you could could go you know $128.62 uh, three times. Um, so what I wanted to dive into really specifically here is a couple of the bigger ones. So we're going to look at the, the way that the special monthly compensation claims work is they're, they're labeled by, by letters and halves. So we'll look at, let's look at L and, and O. So if you were to look at special monthly compensation L, for example, I'm going to read to you the qualifier for L. So you may receive an SMC L designation if any of these situations are true for you. You've had both feet amputated or, now here's the thing, there's going to be a lot of ors. You've had one foot amputated and have lost the use of the other foot or you've had one hand and one foot amputated or You've had one foot amputated and have lost the use of one hand, or 
you've had one hand amputated and have lost the use of one foot, or you've lost you've lost the use of both feet, or you've lost the use of one hand and one foot, or you've lost sight in both eyes, or you've permanently you're permanently bedridden, or you need daily help with basic needs like eating, dressing, and bathing. Okay, that is SMC L. Now, if I scroll back up to L designation for uh, on this schedule that I'm looking at, a veteran with one child and a spouse is four thousand eight hundred and fifty-six dollars and sixty-seven cents. If you meet those criteria, remember bedridden was in there, and if you need help with daily living, like you know bathing, eating, and so forth, dressing. If you if you're in that category, you could potentially uh, get SMCL, which is four thousand eight hundred and fifty six dollars per month. Now let's look at O to see what the difference is here. So if we look at O, you may receive an SMCO designation if any of these situations are true for you. You've had both arms amputated so close to the shoulder that you can't wear prosthetics or prosthesis. You have completely you have complete paralysis of both legs that's resulted in being unable to control your own uh, your bladder or bowels or you have hearing loss in both ears that's rated 60% or more disabling and you have blindness in both eyes or you have hearing loss in both ears at 40% or more disabling and you have blindness in both eyes with only the ability to perceive light or you have total deafness in one ear as well as blindness in both eyes with only the ability to perceive light or there's a ton the uh, so or you have deafness in both ears rated at 30 percent or more disabling or you have uh, had one foot amputated or you've lost the use of one foot rated at 50 percent or more disabling or you've had one hand amputated or you've lost the use of one hand or you have physically lost both eyes and you have deafness in both ears rated at 30 percent or you have had one foot amputated or you've lost so it keeps going through all those and so basically it, it gives you there's a couple different ands but it's mostly ors so this is definitely a more severe situation. And so let's see what the rating is on that. So SMCO, and it's a bunch of scrolling back and forth. So for O with one child and a spouse is $6,674.09. So this is a glance looking into a little bit and not even the most severe circumstances, but kind of a, a mid-range and a lower level um, SMC schedule of ratings. So with that, I'll go ahead and cut it there so we don't go too long. I appreciate you. Thanks again for your uh, support. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.